Hi everybody, Miss Jenny here from the Flossmore Library. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Storytime with Miss Jenny. And um, so yeah, let's get started. This is our last one for February. Next week is March. So we are gonna have a whole new set of books to read. Um, but this last one I have is called Hair Love by Matthew A. Cherry. Um, and thank you to Penguin Random House for allowing us to read this today. Um, for February Black History Month. Hair love. Look at the cat with the little girl. <laughs> Beautiful. The cat is not happy. My name is Zuri, and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks and coils and curs, curls every which way. And her kitty cat sleeps with her. Daddy tells me it is beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. In funky braids with beads, I am a princess. Beautiful. A princess in her castle. And when my hair is in two puffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. Superhero Zuri. hair even does magic tricks. One day Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went, presto, just like that. There is nothing my hair can't do. Today I wake up an extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. I think the cat thinks it's a different kind of day. He's thinking about food and what's Zuri thinking about? Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. She's so sweet. I think Daddy needed a break, and she made him breakfast. Because today is special. I want a perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional's touch. Pause off, Rocky. Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth, he asked. Uh-oh, she dropped her iPad. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll be a piece of cake, Zuzu. The first style was a big no way. At least Daddy's trying. <laughs> the second was no better. No, Daddy. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch, Daddy yelled. Yep, he got hit with the rubber band. <laughs> Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really, I said. I'll be right back, he promised. Look what he did to Zuzu's hair. <laughs> now, how's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on. We can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said. We'll figure this out. Then I had a great idea. Hmm, I wonder what her idea was. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed and we were set. Okay, I wonder what they're gonna do to her hair. Watching carefully, Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it. Funky puff buns, pretty, pretty, and so much fun. Rocky approved too. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Look at Zuri, she looks so cute. Her hair looks perfect. Where's my Zuzu, mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy, you've got to be the prettiest superhero I've ever seen, she said. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? 
I looked at Daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled very nice. Thank you, we learn from the best, Daddy said as he gave her a big hug. My hair is Mommy, Daddy, and me. It's hair love. And they took a photo. So cute. It says, sometimes love, sometimes love looks like braids, puffs, and twists. So cute. So we have this book on shelf right now. Um, if you guys like it, you can um, request it online or give us a call um, if you want to read it at home. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys next week for another book for Storytime with Miss Jenny. Have a nice weekend. Bye.